Uh, Everett Weaver says, Lou, I purchased a house 26 months ago that was in foreclosure and needed renovations. I gave the seller $7,000 down and the balance of 5,000 via 500 monthly until paid until the balance paid of, then he cut off here. Uh, let's see, oh, until, uh, let's see. $12,000 deposit was paid. I sold on an option for $225,000 with $15,000 down with an option. I paid up the foreclosure balance. I renovated the home and I just found out that the seller died. Is there anything for me to do? Okay, so the seller carried back financing. Is that let me let me go back here. That? Um, the seller carried back this five hundred dollars a month uh, gave, for up till seven thousand dollars. Gave seven thousand down and well, is, and has been paying five thousand five hundred dollars a month. Okay, Ernest, that's a great question, and it definitely has happened to me. Everything's happened. <laughs> Thank you, God. Everything's happened to me. Uh, and that happened to me too. I was paying payments to a gentleman on a, uh, actually a loan that he made and uh, continued to make those payments and uh, didn't really pay attention to the fact that they hadn't been cashing the checks. And then one day the lady shows up at our mailboxes place and says, you know, um, he died. And, uh, and I don't, they're made out to him and I don't know what to do. And of course, we made good on those checks. But the answer is ever that uh, his, his estate inherited the balance of that note. So you still owe the debt. You just have to know who to pay it to. And it will be the court that tells you who to pay it to because uh, just depending on the laws in your state as to how it's going to transition to whomever the family member or members are that are entitled to that money. So definitely you still owe the money, but right now they might not be able to cash the checks. <laughs>